Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt from Cart Bonch Sound. Uh, I just wanted to make another quick video on Reason 8 MIDI workflow. Uh, a user actually commented on the missing features video that I made, uh, and he gave me hey a guys. really good tip for MIDI editing. This guy Tronum right here. Uh, so I wanted to make a little video about it. So it doesn't have MIDI note paint, but he says, uh, Reason 8 did expand the duplicate function. Select note or clip and Command D will quickly duplicate them in succession, which I think was always a feature, at least for clips, but I, I guess maybe not for MIDI notes. And then uh, double click <coughs> creates or deletes notes and automation. That's one of the new things. And then he says, but a neat twist is that you can hold the second click and drag to set the length in one step, which is pretty nice. So I just kind of wanted to show a quick example of that with some hi-hats. And then another user, a different user left another comment um, regarding some arpeggio workflow stuff. So after I show you this, I'm going to kind of pause for a few minutes and then uh, I'll be coming back to show you guys that. So anyways, I got my hi-hat here. <clears throat> and basically um, I want to do some kind of like fast hip-hop hi-hats so basically um, to demonstrate what he was talking about you know you can double click to add a remove but then the nice thing is you know you can just do that so it's not quite MIDI paint but it's almost as fast and then if I want to go to 30 second notes here now I just do this and so to give you an example <laughs> can do that. Um, oops. Command Y. So it, is, it does seem a little slow for some for some reason, but that might just be because I'm recording video at the same time. Um, what was I about to do? Oh yeah. 30 second note triplets. So I mean this is much quicker and uh, you can probably imagine doing this with chords and how, how quick that's going to make it, you know, if you can select multiple notes like that and then uh, kind of duplicate them and then just change the notes real quick, you can really arrange a chord progression pretty quickly. Uh, and then the other thing that he said you can hold the second click. Oh, okay, so you just hold it. But that's kind of really nice. Uh, so especially if you were in a situation where you wanted to be able to do smaller notes too, just set your resolution um, higher than you actually need it. Because now I can just do that and go right into um, 30 second notes if I wanted to. Right, so I mentioned at the beginning of the video that another user had commented on some arpeggiator workflow stuff. I thought it was somebody different, but it's actually uh, Troman again, so shout out to him with the tips. Um, and let me just read you what he said. He says, there's a feature in the tool window under legato adjustments called side-by-side, -side, but it's so great for legato notes, especially for seamless arpeggiator transitions. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that real quick because I was not aware of this. Um, so basically this is the arpeggiated pattern I have here. And then so if you, if you go under legato adjustments and do click the side by side and then apply it automatically tightens everything up for you um, this particular pattern is already you know quantized um, and these changes probably won't be, be what I wanted but if I had known about this earlier it would have been much quicker to set this up so thanks for the tip <laughs> I 
actually that does sound pretty good. <laughs> to this. So I'm not sure which one I like better, but I mean that definitely makes a significant difference. So hopefully that helps you guys. Thanks for watching.